Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's actually the same day that I was just at Stonehenge and now I'm in the city of Bath. Um, so look at this beautiful cathedral behind me. We actually have the Roman baths right here. So we're actually gonna go try to go inside here and see uh, if there's any cool, uh, you know, ancient baths here. So Roman style and they have uh, I really don't know what to expect other than it's supposed to be pretty cool and it's a very beautiful city. I'll try to get a whole bunch of shots and, and cool stuff that we can show. Um, but let me show you a little bit around here, around the square where I'm at right now and then we'll head inside. You just want to jump right in, get all nice and clean. Maybe not. All right, we'll find our way down there. Got lots of cool Roman statues. So at one point there was obviously some big arches here and they said that it would have been 20 feet above that would have been quite impressive back in the day. They're obviously not standing anymore. This is the hot spring where it actually comes in with the warm water. See it actually bubbling down there a little bit. See? Probably feels like a nice hot tub. Interesting. So from the it's the Britain are hot springs adorned with sumptuous splendor for the use of mortals. Ooh. Now we get to meet the Romans. Old standing pillar, not much left of it. Waterways. There's some of the Romans. This is what it would have looked like back in the day. Closer down there, soon I can guess them will be out there. Old artifacts that are still left. Commemoration stones. This is some of the building that's still left standing, some of the wall and floors. Some of the water still running down there. See the same Yeah. Oh, yeah. Still see the spring. Yeah. Some of their old spoons and combs. Jewelry. It's like a safety pin there. Some gold necklaces. Plates. Vases, 
stuff. It's that same spring we saw earlier. These are a bunch of different coins that were thrown in the spring. A lot of them. And some gold ones. And a lot that are even in really bad shape. Dating all the way back to 133 BC for that one up there. People have been throwing coins in wishing wells for, for centuries. Thousands of years they've been throwing coins in the wishing wells. That's interesting, I didn't know that. Here's where some extra water flows out and it goes into a river. It's actually steaming, I don't know if you can see it on the film, but yeah, you can kind of see it in the light, all the steam that's coming up out of it. Here we go, we made it out to the bath. Kind of interesting. Not very clean, but... We have all these different trenches kind of in it. I'm sure water used to run in all these. Maybe I should just jump right in and have a little bath. Nah, probably not. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's too clean. What do you think? There's all the different Romans up there where we were earlier. Cool place. Look, there's a Roman. The Romans are still here. Some nice benches still. This leads to the east baths. Let's go in here. Oh yeah. So. Nice and deep. That's where the water would flow. This was an immersion pool. So it would flow from out there, around that corner, down to the bath. Okay, some old steps. Oh, there's naked bums. <laughs> this is the swimming bath. You can't read it on that sign, but this is the hot room. So these are like hot stones, kind of like a sauna, I guess. would have looked back in the day. Oh yeah, so they would have like fire. Oh, so this would hold up the floor and then they would have fire and stuff in there to get it all heated up. There's some of the floor still standing. Some of the floor over there as well. Hmm. Hanging from the ceiling, been dripping down for so long. Just a 
stalagmites or stalactites. I don't remember the names of them. Cool. So this would have been the changing room. It's hard to see in here, it's so dark. This would have been the changing room. People still throwing in their coins. From all those ones we saw earlier. Yeah, still here. <laughs> now that's where everyone throws them today. But I think this is the same place where they gathered all those coins from uh, that we saw earlier in that other room. And also, don't come here if you're not very good on your feet because these floors are so uneven and holy and man. Piece of the roof, old roof spine fragment. So one thing you can do here is you can come taste the water. It smells just like this place. It says it has magical healing properties. So here we go, bottoms up. It's warm. Kind of got a gross taste. But now I'm going to be healed. All my ailments. It'll be wonderful. So that was the Roman Baths. Hope you enjoyed the little quick tour. Um, I thought it was okay, you know. I think I like Stonehenge better, but uh, they were still really fun to go look at and see all the cool old Roman stuff. I really like seeing the old coins. That was pretty cool. And uh, drinking the famous water, spa water. It was warm. It healed me. Amazing. So anyway, it was cool. I, the city is beautiful. I mean, it, probably one of the best cities in Britain I've been to so if you ever get a chance to come to Bath it's definitely worth seeing so hope you enjoyed it uh, hopefully we'll walk around a little bit more and see some other stuff and then uh, we'll see what else Bath has to offer well I think that's gonna do it for the city of Bath hope you enjoyed watching the quick tour of the city it's sure beautiful the Roman baths are cool so make sure you keep tuned and stay tuned for more fun see ya